Hello, my K viewers! K Shadow here for another episode of 14 Days of Fruits Basket! Ah! Oh my god, <laughs> sorry, didn't mean to blow your ears out. But today we are going to be doing the quote unquote sexy couple of Fruits Basket, aka Izu. Izu, Zu, aka Rin, and Hatsuharu. Like, and the reason why I call them the quote unquote sexy couple is just because of how blunt and everything of, of like Hatsuharu is when it comes to Rin being like super sexy and everything. Like, he's pointed out the fact that her boobs have gotten bigger and all that bun jazz and like, funny enough, I think a lot of people have forgotten how, quote unquote, mature this series is, like, from the manga and everything, just how, like, I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, like, Shigure has, has slept with a few different people, including Akito, so... Like, I could be wrong, like, I know he slept with, uh, Akito, and I think it's implied that he slept with Akito's mom because he, his mom kind of forced him to. It was like, it's one of those weird things. And, like, and it's sort of implied that Rin and Hatsuharu actually slept with each other at one point. Even though, at that time, I think he was like a first year in middle school, and I think Rin was like I can't really remember Rin's age in all honesty, but I know there's a significant age difference. But you could, you can always prove me wrong. Let me know, cause all, in all honesty, I can't remember shit. <laughs> and. I definitely think this picture is good, but I definitely could have do done a little bit more with it. Like, I think the reason why I I get so hung up on their relationship is because of the fact that, like, whenever I look up pictures of them together and I think, oh, that's a cute pose and everything, I try to do something similar to it or like, pay homage to it, and I'm just like, no, that doesn't look right, or, oh, that doesn't really fit, or something like that, and it, it's just weird, and for me, it's, like, a big problem I have when it comes to my artwork, because I don't want to copy as much as I used to, and I want to try and do my own things, and all that fun jazz, and I just, Sometimes I'm very critical of my own artwork and you can ask my boyfriend about this. Like and he's like my harshest critic. Like he told me about this one and he said that the guy like he doesn't really remember that much about Fruits Basket though he knows of the series and everything. Like you'd be surprised at how much Rome rom-coms he animes he've seen he has seen so don't think that just because he's a guy he doesn't know about fruits basket just so you know anyway i showed him this picture and he just was like i really like the guy but i think the girl's face is a little bit too scrunched up and as soon as he pointed that out i'm like yeah yeah i could have definitely like changed something about the proportions of her face just to make things a little bit more even and but oh well you live and learn but eh what can you do what can you do for a Klondike bar <laughs> sorry bad joke and like don't get me wrong I do like this couple and everything and I think that their relationship is one of the few that is like ex I, 
I can't really think of a good way to word this. Like, like you experience more of it than most other couples in this series. At least that's what I think. Because, in all honesty, I think like their relationship is given a lot of time to progress and everything. Like, at towards the end of the series. Like, you don't really see that they get together, or quote-unquote, get together. Like, it's very heavily implied, but it's never set in stone. And here's the final product, as soon as it pops up. Like, there it is. Like, favorite, and subscribe. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye!